You know, with the launch of the Xbox One X a short time away, uh, we're going to be getting a lot of more videos and articles about what resolution a lot of these games run at on the console. And Digital Foundry and Eurogamer took a look at Killer Instinct, the exclusive fighter from Xbox, and determined that it is the first console game ever to run at native 4K. What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. And yeah, before we get into the video, I just want to put it out there that the next video I put out later on today in a couple hours will be the much-requested review for Uncharted 4. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for it if you haven't. Uh, I think it's going to be a long one, and we're going to talk about, uh, you know, if it's supplanted my uh, game of the year from last year. But with that out of the way... We're going to talk about some Killer Instinct stuff. Now, I remember when Microsoft unveiled the X and they talked about, you know, all this 4K stuff. A lot of people, even to this day, really don't believe that the console can do native 4K uh, at all, right? I, I still see, you know, that misinformation given out there. And of course, not every game will be native 4K on the console. A lot of games will do dynamic 4K. A lot of games will do checkerboarded 4K. But there are a bunch of games on the Xbox One X that do native 4K. And Killer Instinct is one of them. And I watched the video from Digital Foundry. You can read the article here on Eurogamer.net. And they are quite impressed with what Killer Instinct is doing on the Xbox One X. Now, if you've been following Killer Instinct, it's kind of gone through uh, a lot of changes over the course of time. I love the game. I think I have something like 250 hours into Killer Instinct. It is a fantastic fighter, and I recall when people, uh, when this game was first shown off back in 2013, people were like, Killer Instinct? In 2013? Who cares? But it turned out Double Helix did a great job with the game, and then they left uh, to be bought by Amazon Studios, and Iron Galaxy came in to continue on. They released Season 3, um, I want to say, what, last year or earlier this year. And the game's finally going to be coming out to Steam. And you're going to have cross-play between Xbox One, Windows 10, and Steam. It's going to be pretty good. And recall, when this game first launched, uh, even though it was a great game and got great reviews, a lot of people put down Killer Instinct because it was a blurry and muddy 720p. That's what it launched at, 720p. Eventually, when Iron Galaxy got the game, they patched it to run at 900p. And right now, on the Xbox One X, it'll be running at a native 4K and 60 frames. It'll be the first console fighting game to run at native 4K. Because a lot of the fighters on the PS4 Pro, like Injustice 2 and King of Fighters, run at 1440p. And even something like Tekken 7 runs at 1080p. So, Killer Instinct, the first fighting game to run not only at native 4k but also at 60 frames per second 99.9 percent .9 of the time because there are some instances where it does drop to like 55 frames but usually in those animations where you don't have real any any real control and of course digital foundry says you know this could change by the time the system comes out but i thought this was pretty impressive considering the original game when it launched in 2013 was 720p and it was called blurry. It was called muddy. It's like, ugh, 720p. You know, scratch your eyes out. And here we are, four years later, and the game that people railed against for resolution, and you know they did, uh, is the best looking uh, cons uh, fighting game out there on console, 4K. Because even Injustice 2 isn't 4K. Although maybe Injustice 2 might be 4K on the Xbox One X. We don't know yet. So I thought uh, what they're doing, Clear Instinct, is pretty impressive. And I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Uh, you can check out Eurogamer's article or watch their video where they talk about it. One of the kind of downsides, though, is that this is just a straight port. There's really no other improvements uh, to the game. What you see is what you get. You're just going to get a better looking version of Killer Instinct on November 7th when the Xbox One X launches. Anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope everybody out there enjoyed it. Please hit that like button if you did. Uh, consider subscribing for the, to the channel for more content. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I drop all my new videos. Share this out on Twitter and elsewhere uh, so more people check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see everybody 
in the next video. Later, guys.